thank you very much and very uh, good afternoon the pre presentation title is burden and differential features of cholera and non cholera watery diarrhea among under 5 children a case control uh, study <coughs> Uh, this female uh, children, child admitted in the morning with cholera and severe dehydration and after receiving IV fluid at afternoon, there were still some purging and child improved from severe dehydration to some and treated with ORS and, ne and next day after improvement, the child is going to home and we'll be able to do that in every places. <coughs> so little background and rationale and the objective. Liquid or watery diarrhea, either cholera or not, is a universal prob pro uh, problem, mainly in so African countries and Southeast Asian region, including Bangladesh. And the data on dif epidemiology and differential features of cholera and non-cholera watery diarrhea are limited. And this information is helpful in the management of uh, cholera. And in case of cholera or not watery diarrhea, we have to use uh, uh, antibiotic legitimately. So if we know that it's cholera or not cholera, that will help us. This study, it's a diarrheal disease uh, systemic surveillance in our hospital. We do every investigation and other information collected in depth from every 50th uh, patients. So it's a 2% sample and this DDSS is approved by our IRB and data included information of socio-demographic factors, environmental history, clinical characteristics, nutritional status and uh, diarrhea pathogen. So during that period, <coughs> we had around uh, 21,626 children and among them actually we excluded the children who were watery diarrhea, but Shigella by culture was negative. And finally, we had uh, 2,936 children. Their mean age was 14.8 months with a standard deviation in 11.6, and around 40% were girl. And cholera was isolated from 11% of the children, and rest 89% were Shigella negative and also cholera negative, but watery diarrhea. So at first we did a bivariate analysis and the uh, factors or uh, predict pred uh, predictor factors uh, by bivariate analysis, those are uh, statistically significant. We then first checked the multicollinearity with the variance inflation factor. And we had the plan that if the variance inflation factor less than five, we'll, to, we'll take these uh, variables. And finally, in the regression model, we found that if the age is more than 12 months among under five children, it's a risk factor. Or so she was 3.23. If the stool frequency in last 24 hours is more than 10, it's a risk factor. If there is no abdominal pain, it is, it is not predicting cholera. It's, it may be other reason. Presence of some or severe dehydration, the odds ratio was 3.39, it's a risk factor. Predominant breastfeeding up to six months, it's a protecting factor. In warmer season in Bangladesh, April to September is comparatively warmer and uh, incidence of cholera was more. And mother working outside home, it's a risk factor. And most of the mother actually low paid, daily laborer or garments worker, something like that. Other non-significant variables, those are actually uh, significant in bivariate analysis, but not significant in logistic model, was watery or liquid stool without mucus or blood, fever, wasting, stunting, family member had diarrhea within last seven days, receiving antibiotic before hospital reporting, no treatment of drinking water, illiterate parents, slum residents, mainly urban slum residents, not receiving vitamin A uh, if the age is between uh, more than one year to five years, uh, using non-sanitary latrine, history of diarrhea in last three, 30 days, excluding the current episode, and history of cough or fever in last uh, 30 days. These factors were actually significant, but finally did not come as significant factor. 
So the key findings were the associated risk factor of cholera were age more than 12 months among under five children, stool frequency more than 20 per, uh, more than 10 per, uh, last, per 24 hours, some are severe dehydration, warmer month and working mother. And protecting factors were uh, absence of abdominal pain and predominant breastfeeding. Other few information we found that relatively more children with cholera needed inpatient admission and intravenous fluid. Fatality rate uh, in the surveillance data among cholera children were zero. Uh, no children were died, but 1% were among non-cholera children. So the summary finding is that the case, cholera case load was 11% among watery diarrhea if Shigella is negative. And these above mentioned factors would help in differentiating cholera from other watery diarrhea and that would, would help in uh, proper use of uh, antibiotic. So usually when patients come in our hospital, we do not do uh, lab investigation, rapid test or culture in, in all patients, only in 2% patients. And in research interest, we do this for specific uh, children. So <coughs> we actually uh, uh, predict uh, by looking this kind of stool, the first left one is rotaviral, the left lower is E. coli, but sometimes it, it, it cannot be differentiated from rotavirus. Even cholera sometimes look like that. The right lower panel is typical cholera, rice water stool, and right up panel is for shigella. But, but most of the uh, children come with left lower type of stool, and that's why we need some predicting model that with this feature, you will predict that it's watery area, but a chance of cholera is high. 